You sure? Yeah. Let me ask you a basic question then. Very simple if you can answer this, if you're very smart. Death seizes you right now. You step into eternity and God is about to judge you. There is two final destinations where he can send you. It's either he opens up his gate of heaven and welcome you into his kingdom, or it's either he opens up his gates of hell and send you to his prison. Where do you think God is going to send you if you are to die in the next two minutes? Heaven. Oh, he's a good man. How about you, sir? You see, you don't know. It, it becomes a tricky question when I ask that because I just shown you that you could lose your life anytime and you could step into God's presence anytime. He said he's a great man, right? He's a good man, so he's going to heaven. I'd like to prove to both of you that none of us three here is actually good enough, all right? And we need somebody to justify us before God for we to get into God's presence. I'll make it very quick. I don't want to waste your time, all right? Have you ever told a lie in your life? I have to. Have you ever disobeyed your parents? <laughs> have you? I have. Yes. I've been a disobedient child, you know, f for a while. Have you? I'm no, I'm no longer a disobedient child. I've changed, all right? But I used to be. Have you ever used God's name in vain, like OMG? <laughs> Never said. <laughs> huh? You don't think so? Have you ever taken something from someone or somewhere irrespective of its value without permission, even if it was small, like a pen or a pencil or a rubber or a ruler or a suit? Um, <laughs> okay, cool. And the last one is this, yeah? I appreciate your time and your patience as well, by the way. The last question is, have you ever looked with lust? Look at a site you shouldn't be checking or have sex before marriage, or look at a girl down the street and having all those thoughts running in your head? You know, I don't, I don't get girls, so don't <laughs> But anyway, but if God is to judge you by the Ten Commandments, you just looked at five. I'm sure I've broken some of those five. At least telling what, telling, telling a lie. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go far. At least telling a lie. One, one is enough to keep you away from God's presence. And we are all sinners. All right? That's why I can say, well, I'm no better than you. I'm a sinner who has been saved by grace. Now, the Ten Commandments are called the moral laws. You and me have broken the laws. Hey, good to see you, brother. God bless. Uh, you and me have broken the moral laws. Christ paid the final on our behalf by dying on the cross and he was buried and he rose again from the dead. Now, if you are to repent, repentance means turn away from your sins and believe in the good news that actually Jesus Christ reconciled you to God by dying on the cross on your behalf because he took the punishment that you and me were meant to receive from God. He took it upon himself. And all you have to do is believe and you'll be saved. It's a f oh, bro, go. That one, it's a good one. Yeah. Two, you can have two. Pass one to your friend, innit? Huh? Pass one to your friend, really important. Yeah, 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 ah, no worries. Bless her, bro. You, 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 I, 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 I remember you talking to my big brother, Peter. Bless big B. Yeah, How's your mom doing? Yeah, everything's good, man. Ah, bless her, bro. Yeah, bless man. her. Cool, yeah, man. safe. The new oh, good, man. Yeah, keep it up, yeah? Yeah, man. Aye. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. But remember, Jesus Christ died for your sins, and he was buried, and he rose again from the dead. We are all sinners, and there's no other way we can be reconciled to God but to believe that actually... He died for our sins and he was buried and he rose again from the dead. We also need to repent. Repentance means forsaking, forsaking our old ways. Like if you used to love gambling or sex and porn and, and uh, drugs and stuff like that, we must change our attitude towards that. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we can turn away from those things and live a righteous, good life. If you see what I mean before God. So please think about it. And that's why I also want to offer you this. I don't know you, but I love you enough as my brothers. I don't want you to, I don't want you to end up in hell. So please think about it, all right? And that says that you're a good person. Are you a good person? Yes, definitely. Before God, you're not. Why? Because you're all sinners. So think about it, and thanks for your time. Give him one as well, yeah? Of the, are, you, are you a good person? All right, God bless you guys, yeah? Please think about it. Your soul depends on it. All right, have a nice day.